Hey everybody, um, just wanted to let you guys know that uh, today I went by and I had my CT done and um, it normally only took me about 15-20 uh, minutes. Um, they took and gave me some dye. Uh, I had to take uh, some a little bit of it last night before I went to bed and then about two hours before my visit I had to take a little bit uh, like every 30 minutes I had to take 10 cc's of it um, so by the time I got there um, I went back in the back where the CT was and I uh, laid down they um, they had me um, they wanted to stick me um, so they could go ahead and put a little bit more um, dye in me while I was doing the CT and um, the actual test itself took probably about um, five minutes. It was pretty short. I, I thought it was going to be a lot longer than what it was. But um, uh, shortly after I, well, when I finished, um, I had a chance to uh, ask the lady that was doing the CT if I could walk to the back there so I could see uh, on the monitor exactly uh, what it looked like uh, in my body and stuff to see if I could see anything that might really grab my attention like uh, because I have my shunt that's here I was wondering if that was going to grab my attention uh, kind of see if it was causing some of the problems but we we were noticing that my shunt um, goes further down into my uh, it goes down my um, abdomen right here and then it cross over um, into the middle part of, of the body before it actually gets closer to the pain that I'm getting so it, it was making me think that it's not uh, the shunt that's actually causing the pain but but you know I'm not a doctor so I can't make the final decision as to what the pain might be coming from but um, hopefully uh, next time I hear back from the doctor doctor could think of some other things that might be causing the pain so I just thought I'd let you guys know what had happened today and uh, once again if you guys have any uh, ideas as to where the pain might be coming from please uh, write me back tell me what you think okay I'll talk to you guys later